Hi guys, we are about to leave for the airport because we're going to Bahrain. It is a nice little family holiday. So I've tidied my whole room because I figured it would be nice to come back to like a clean room after like a week. I literally just packed this morning, which was a bit of a kerfuffle because I didn't realize how much I was bringing. It didn't fit in the first suitcase I was gonna take. So I put it in a much bigger suitcase and hopefully it fits the baggage allowance. Yeah, let's go to the airport and have some fun on holiday. This is the fit if anyone is interested. On the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a tight squeeze guys, look. It's gonna be a two hour journey to the airport and then we've got to check in and I'm really worried about my liquids but hopefully you guys No one okay. told you to bring a hundred I get really worried about my liquids. How many liquids I have? Zero. Zero. Okay, whatever. Sundas had a night shift so she's absolutely zonked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we've just got through security and we did a little bit of shopping at Heathrow now we're just boarding the plane now time to get in the plane so hopefully next time I see you I'll be in Bahrain guys look very well rested yes. it was a nice sleep ever very nice night. sleep so nice. I missed both of you so, so you both you got so you both got upgraded to business class yeah, 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 just as we were boarding. And I was stuck in economy. We just landed in Bahrain. My mom and Maureen had a wonderful time on the plane because they flew business class because for some reason they got upgraded last minute. But me and Sundar sat in economy and to be honest, I just slept the whole way, so I had a good time. They're just talking about how good business class was, so I'm not going to get involved in that conversation. <laughs> I just bought a Starbucks because I really wanted to try it here. I got a toffee nut oat latte. It's actually pretty good. I got really confused about the exchange rate because I thought one pound was two dinars and this cost me four dinars. So I thought this was like really cheap, but it's actually the opposite right way around. So I think this cost me like five pounds. And then someone's gonna pick us up from the hotel in literally like half an hour. Just checking in. This place looks huge. It's like a huge resort. Oh my god, beach attached to the resort looks huge. And then when we arrived, they were like singing and dancing. It was so much fun. So excited! So we've checked in, but our room's not ready yet. So they let us have breakfast. And there's like literally so many different foods. There's like an Arabic station, like an egg station, like a pancake station, like a smoothie station. So yeah, we're just enjoying that. Food is so good. So we're finally in the room. I just showered, got into my PJs and put my hair in a plait. So exhausted. Mary and my mom have fallen asleep in the other room and Sunnus has gone swimming. So I think I'm gonna take a nap and then I'll give you guys a proper tour of the room and then I think I'll go swimming later and just have a really chill day because I am exhausted. Good night, guys. Good morning. Well, really it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, but I slept for a few hours and now we're ready to go to the pool. This is my burkini. And then we'll see what happens from that. I think we're just gonna have a really chill day. Chill day. I mean, look how nice the view is. It looks so pretty. I look good. Yeah. I prefer swimming with a cap on just because it's way more comfortable and I can't like feel my wet hair if that makes sense. Ready? How do I look? <laughs> okay, let's go for a swim. Who's ready for me? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, oh. Oh, still I'm literally crouching. Can't do it. That swim was so much fun and now we're gonna go in the sauna. I can't really swim to be honest. Like I used to be really good in school and then I haven't swam probably for like the last like 10 years. I swim every now and then with a the waist, but I haven't swam in a long time. And I've also just recovering from like an infection. So I was very bad at swimming, but overall it was a lot of fun. And hopefully if I swim every day, then I'll get a bit better every day. Who knows? It's sauna time. We just slept for I think like two three hours because we were so tired. My skin feels so much better, but yeah, I'm, so I'm ready. Mine. I'm definitely ready I'm to go eat some food. Oh my God. I'm gonna show my outfit. We don't need to do these 
Hi guys, it is day two in Bahrain. So we woke up, we've had breakfast, which was really good. I had this really nice omelette. And now we're just getting ready because we're gonna go to the market, which will be fun. I also tidied my room or our room because like my clothes were all over the suitcase. So I put it in the cupboard, which felt so good. Also, I really love this SPF. I brought it with me just on this holiday and I thought she's so good. Did you just go into my makeup drawer and just pick that up? I mean, you can have it, but you can just ask, you know. Look how good my skin looks after being in the sauna for like after, after one day of the sauna. I'm glowing skin by the end of this holiday. This is what I feel like wearing. It's usually like 20 degrees, so I think I'm just gonna wear like jeans with a top and hopefully it'll be warm enough. I'm gonna fix my hair and put on some jewelry. I've been wearing my hair natural on this trip just because it's gonna get wet every day with the swimming and stuff. So I'm just gonna put some curl cream on as well. Love this oil, I recently got it. Got a little bit of an entanglement situation going on. I'm gonna put in a SPF spray to top up my face, a lip oil, and a hair clip. Final look, off to the markets. <laughs> Bye. In the causeway between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Uh, and which part of Saudi Arabia, which city? Uh, Al Khubar. It looks nice here. Yeah. Currently in a gold shop and choosing between necklaces for like wedding jewelry. Um, I prefer, I it is my favorite thing in the whole world. I could spend all day here. I just bought some really nice like dainty necklaces that I'll show you guys. So we went to an oud shop but didn't like any of the oud but now we're in the jewelry store and love this place. We just finished in the gold shop that was like the funnest thing ever we tried on a bunch of different jewelry. She gave me a really good discount because they were so nice and I also get 10% tax back at the airport so they explained how to do that. Now we're just in this little mall. I'm trying to find some oud. We went to an oud store but like it, didn't, it seemed a bit dodgy so we're gonna go to just some other places but first we're gonna get some food at this really nice like um, mall. So we changed our mind because there's a nearby mall called Moda Mall which is like a five minute walk away so we're just gonna walk there and probably eat some food there but the surroundings in Bahrain are so nice like the street is so nice to walk down. So Moda Mall is just there in that like glass building. I love this place. I'm gonna do a bit more shopping, gonna try and find some oud, gonna try and find some presents and then find some food as well. And then I also really need the toilet. I don't know what it is, but when I'm like in a new country, the conversion rate always confuses me. So I end up spending more than I plan to. We're at Moda Mall and it looks so cool. Look how cool it looks. This is such a nice looking mall. Oh my God, guys, look how nice the toilet looks. It's so nice. Also, lol, the cleaner's in here. And then when she saw me vlogging, she like ran away. <laughs> I was vlogging in the toilet and then the cleaner Why ran you away. Why in the toilet? Because I needed... ran away? Yeah, she started laughing at me and then she ran away. Why did she run away? Like, oh, who was there? The cleaner. Like, oh, she, she, she the went shop? to go hid into the, inside the toilet. No, she wasn't in my shop. The best part of the um, bathrooms here are the fact that every single one comes with that little, like, hose so you can wash yourself so you don't ever have to worry about a lotter. Yeah. Ooh, chocolate shop. Should we go in there? finished at the markets and there was nothing really to buy there like it was nice to go around but I didn't really like anything there so we came back and we, we were so tired we just got ready for dinner and we're just having the buffet which is really good and they're being really nice to us and they made us these mocktails which are so tasty just going on an evening walk now did you like dinner it was okay. Yeah, it was I really liked it. Don't know didn't you didn't like, like it. He went through so much effort. I really liked it. Like they made us so much extra food because I said to them that there wasn't much chicken. So then they went and got me like lamb curry and stuff, which was really nice of them. We're going to go for an evening stroll. And then after that, I think we're literally just going to go to bed because I'm so tired. Oh my God, the funniest thing just happened. This, this family saw the fact that I was like vlogging and then they like asked me mama my mom and they were like oh is she a vlogger and then mama said yeah she's posts on tiktok and then she doesn't know who i am but then she goes oh can i take a photo with you but i thought she was joking and then she was like no no i'll follow you so then she followed me on tiktok and then she took a photo with me and i took a photo with her i thought that was so cute <laughs> So we finished
finished dinner and after dinner we went round like the hotel and we went to one of the other restaurants that they have and they were having like this mini concert and we had a lot of fun there and then i've just come back and literally just got ready for bed and i thought i would show you the jewelry that i bought today because this was like my highlight of the day it's probably gonna be my highlight of the trip i feel like the older i get the more i get into like shopping for the things that my mom really liked like when i was younger i had no interest in gold but i feel like like going ring shopping and then going like wedding jewelry shopping has like increased my interest in gold and now like i love going to gold shops i just bought two small necklaces i've got a waist on the phone as well because i want to show him say hi hello okay you're ready i'm gonna show you my jewelry pieces okay this is the first one oh that's nice you can't even see it zoom in zoom in let's have a look Wait, hold on, it's inside out. So this is the first one. It's just a really simple necklace with these little stones. Show me before the camera. Oh, sorry. There you go. I was really good at haggling, you know. I haggled my way. I said to her, I said, I want to buy both of these, so you give me a good deal. And she goes, okay, I'm going to get my manager. I love a little haggling. It's fun. Love a bit of haggling. I, I'm really good at haggling now. I used to be so scared of it. Anyway, let me show you my second necklace. You know who's really good at haggling? Asian artists. This is my favorite one. I like that one. I prefer that. Yeah, this is like a bit bigger. She said it's like this special Arabic stone called, she said, I think it was called Melikut. I see, you're like, a yeah, businessman now. Yeah, I'm a businessman. I like to haggle. Do you know what I mean? Good night. Good night. Day three in Bahrain. So a lot has happened. So we went to breakfast and basically there's a wedding going on. So we've been walking around the hotel, like looking at like the wedding events. And then we met like some people that were going to the wedding and they are so nice. They were like, oh, just come along. You can probably see it from the balcony. Let me show you. Over there, you can see. We'll try and sneak into the wedding. So yeah, I'm just gotten ready. We're gonna go to a park that has flamingos in it. And then we'll see where the day goes, to be honest not really much planned but i'll take you guys along also i just realized i haven't shown you guys the room so let me give you guys a very quick tour it is a bit messy so apologies but let me show you the bathroom so this is the bathroom it's like a very big like walk-in it's got a bathtub very nice like sink with a very nice big vanity mirror and then the best part is the toilet with the little hose and then the shower's got this like nice waterfall shower and it's actually very warm got this big wardrobe hi that's me then this is the bedroom you can see like they've got twin beds and then the other room has a double bed the best part out of all of it is the balcony so let me show you a bit windy at the moment but the temperature's been like about like 21 22 degrees so it's been really nice so far but yeah that's the room so nice where are the flipping oh my god they're over there let's cross the bridge and see the flamingos so cool are they sleeping like one So we just came back from the flamingo park and the wedding started so we're just gonna have a sneak peek because i feel like the wedding's like a three-day event so we're gonna have a sneak peek and it's right next to the pool so then we're gonna go swimming as well <laughs> just so we can see what the wedding looks like because it looks so nice here like it's inspiring me to do a destination wedding should i do one it's like I'm really thinking about it. I'm just waiting for the lift. So we finished at the Flamingo Park and then we went swimming into the sauna. And we just got dressed because we we're gonna go to another mall, but I was a bit late getting changed. So my family's waiting downstairs in the reception for me. So let's go. Just waiting for the taxi now. So what are we gonna do at this mall? It's got good views, like by the sea, and we're we'll trying to get a boat ride. Okay, so it's near the sea. Good morning, it's now the next day. I realized I forgot to update you guys about how last night was and the going to the mall and dinner and things like that. We went to Avenue's Mall and it, I actually love that mall. It's like all on one floor and like there's lots of different shops you can go to. And the customer service there is amazing, but I couldn't film very much because they stopped me with my camera and they said that I wasn't allowed it in the shopping mall. I only really have like a few clips of what happened, but I did some shopping and bought some gifts for people. So first there was this patchy shop. So if you know patchy, you know how good this is. So this is a chocolate shop that I first discovered in Dubai and it's literally like some of the best chocolate I've had. I just bought some chocolates for my sister-in-law because like they're so good. So during this whole trip, I'm really looking for Oud. like i tried on so many different perfumes in that mall yesterday and everybody kept telling me to go to janaid perfume and it is actually such good perfume and the guy there knew exactly what i wanted for some reason and he was so good at his job so this is like the stronger smelling oud 
So this one I bought for my mom because she really liked the smell. So a lot of oud you can actually wear as a hair perfume. So I bought a hair perfume as well. This actually smells so good. And he said it lasts a few days in your hair. I don't know why hair perfume isn't more of a thing because it's really a thing here. And then I got this one for my mother-in-law because this one actually smells so nice. It's actually a really nice like kind of light oud scent. And then this one I got for a waist because like it's a very like... It's more of like that kind of like strong smell and he says he likes oud but then i was talking to him yesterday and basically he likes the tom ford oud and i was like the him no like the oud here smells completely different and then after the mall we came back to the hotel and we had dinner and we had it at this italian restaurant and the service here is so friendly like every 10 minutes they keep coming up to your table and asking you if everything's okay i actually really like this hotel they're so friendly today the plan is that we're gonna go to the mosque and then do a bit more shopping <laughs> Bless you. So guys, the plan is now changed because we realized that the mosque is closed to visitors on Friday. So we're gonna go tomorrow. So today instead, we're gonna go down this pearling path. So it's basically like, I think Bahrain is famous for like it's pearls. Is that right? Anyway, it's like a tourist thing. So we're gonna go check it out. But I think it'll be nice. I don't think, I think it'll be a nice walk. Like it's yeah, it'll be a nice walk. walk. People in Bahrain don't walk. Yeah, oh my God, it was so funny. Like anytime there's like a five minute walk, people always ask us like, are you gonna be okay? Like we can book you a taxi. And we're like, no, it's a, it's a five, 10 minute walk. Also at the hotel, we met this like really nice English couple who basically like travel the world and they come to Bahrain like for three months of the year. They actually live in Shropshire in England. They're like the friendliest people, like we always chat to them and we're actually really sad that they're leaving today. T telling us how they like adopted two kids in Bosnia who was doing aid work. So they basically like always go traveling and they're like 75. I thought that was really sweet. So the man told me I'm not allowed to use my camera so I have to film on my phone but that's fine. But basically the museum said that there's like a big path that you walk down like a purling path. And what's down the path? It's just Brazil. The old preserved city. It's like a nice path of, the, preserved of city the old the, preserved city. Yeah. Is the path in this little block? Surely not but we'll see. I'm, I'm very confused. This place is so pretty. So nice. I think it's like the old ruins of the city. We just read this thing that this, it was actually, this thing was built in the 1920s. So I don't think this is the old city. So the space with the lateral sea channel. I'm very confused what this is, but it looks, it looks very nice. He said it was three and a half kilometers, but I'm wearing my sandals. So we're definitely not going to be able to walk three and a half kilometers. Ooh, look at that. place is so pretty like we took so many nice photos here and it's such a pretty place like look at the architecture yeah a buyers i'm coming we're really looking for a good abaya so we're gonna go to this shop we've come to a sweet shop because they have really famous halva here that everyone keeps talking about so we want to try and try some thank you what's your verdict out of 10 Mm, it's so good. It's, it's, like, it's like gooey. How much out of 10? 10 out of 10. We just went into this like sook and it was like completely empty. And we asked the security guard and he said like nobody's chosen to rent here. So nobody's here. But we tried a bunch of different sweet shops and they were so tasty. And we bought some halva, which I think Bahrain is really famous for. But I think we're done with this bit. We're done with the pearling path and Maharak. It's been fun here actually, hasn't it? Yeah. Next, we're going to go to a mall, I think. And just continue shopping and chill. Good morning. It's our last day in Bahrain. I am so sad. I absolutely love this place. The people here are so friendly and we've become really good friends with like the hotel staff. So yesterday, after we finished from the pearling path, we basically just went to the mall and then did a bit of shopping. I didn't really buy very much, but it was nice to just roam around. And then we got back to the hotel, literally had dinner. I had some really nice pasta. And then this morning, I think the plan is to go to the mosque for sure. And I really want to buy a nice abaya. But yeah, I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss this view so much. And the breakfast is gonna be so good. But yeah, let's have a really nice last day and see what happens. Aren't you gonna miss Bahrain? I love it here. We've just got to the mosque and it's literally the most beautiful thing ever. Like the way it's built is so pretty. So we're just gonna go inside and have a look around. And I feel like we're gonna spend quite a long time here because it's so beautiful. Like look, it's literally like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Wow, the way, the way everything is built in this city is amazing. Honestly, it's so nice. The photos and videos do not do justice to how pretty this place is. 
So we just finished at the mosque and now we've come to a mall that's like literally opposite the mosque called Oasis Mall and we're going to try and find some food. I'm on the search for McDonald's, let's see if we find it. But again, this mall is like really nice, really clean, love it. <laughs> just like everything here. <laughs> so we couldn't find a McDonald's, so we come to this gelato place. Yeah. Come to a souk that's in Hummer Town because we're looking for a buyers and we heard that this one called M&G is really good. So we're going to have a look and maybe hopefully find some of buyers. Still haven't found the McDonald's though, but maybe we will. We were successful in finding an Abaya, but they all pretty much look the same as each other and it's not exactly what we were looking for. So I think we're gonna head back to the hotel now and try to find some McDonald's. Yeah, a buyer I bought was actually really nice, so I'm happy. How many glasses? Again, again, again. Again, again, again. Again, No, no, again, again. <laughs> Good morning, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning and we are packed up, ready to go to the airport. So our flight is in a few hours and last night we packed up. It was actually quite a big struggle packing everything up and I'm a bit nervous if it's all going to fit at the airport and if it's within the luggage allowance, but fingers crossed it is. Oh, I'm so tired. Bye room, bye bed where I had such a good night's sleep. Bye balcony, wow, look at the view. Bye. Yeah, I'm really gonna miss the hotel staff. It was so emotional saying bye to them. We took so many nice pictures. But yeah, let's go to the airport.